It finally happened boys. The day has come where I had to curb a wheel. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to refurb your wheels on a diamond cut finish. Like I just mentioned, unfortunately, I curbed one of my wheels. It's the first time that I'm curbing a wheel in 10 years. I've been driving 10 years with big wheels on my course, and never once have I curbed a wheel until two days ago when I ran into a curb. I'm not exactly sure what happened. I was looking down to put my cord in after my banking card in the slot holder after I went through the toll gate and as I was looking down I managed to hit a curb um, I'm super annoyed with myself but these things happen it eventually had to happen I mean 10 years and it's the first time that I'm curbing a wheel in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to DIY repair your diamond cut curb rim so the basic process for refurbing a diamond cut wheel is to sand it down flat it and then you're gonna polish it so when I sand it down the idea is to flat all the all the creeks and crevices that you caused I hope you guys can see there so we're going to flat that down to get a smooth surface again and then we are going to polish it when sanding I'm obviously going to start with a coarse grit and then I'm gonna work my way up all the way to I'm gonna try and go up to 3000 because I have a very high grit for the headlights the headlight restorations that I do if you haven't seen that video yet I'll link it up down in the description and I'll put a card up in the corner. So I'm going to sand it down moving through the various grids and then eventually I'm going to polish it up. I'm going to start off with a flapper wheel. It's my first time that I'll be using this but I'm going to use a flapper wheel to, to do all the very hard sanding to get all the deep ridges as flat as possible and then after that I'm going to sand by hand. I've got various grids here which I'll show you guys a list of all the grits that I used to sand it down and then I'm going to polish it. I don't have a metal polish but a normal rubbing compound that I use for the course should be fine. If it's not, I'll definitely quickly go and buy some metal polish that's needed to polish it up and I'm hoping that we can get the same result of the overall finish. Luckily, it's only the lip of the rim. It's, the damage isn't deep, like going to the center of the rim. It's only on the edge of the wheel but there is some very deep crevices in there, as you can see, unfortunately. With the wheel all taped up, the next step is going to be to use the flapper disc and start sanding the rim. So this side has been sanded and this is not, as you can see, the flapper wheel gets it pretty flat, there's one or two very deep gashes there, which I'll probably chase out a bit more, I just wanted to show you guys how flat this already looks compared to this. I'm going to continue and do the whole rim since I, I curved the wheel right round, so I'm going to continue to do the whole rim and then I'll catch you guys once that's done. After sanding with a flapper, flapper disc, you can see that it's smooth. There's one or two deeper ridges. I can't even remember where. Like there. That I'm not gonna chase any further. And there's another one there. So it's really minor. You can 
you're not going to see it but next up I'm going to move over to hand sanding I'm gonna start with not to that I'm gonna start with 180 move over to 220 then 360 and then I'm gonna move to uh, to a 600 grid and then thereafter I'm going to use the power drill again with the 800 grid disc then I've got a thousand grit and then the three thousand grit and then we're gonna start polishing I'm done sending by and now I'm going to start sending with a drill as you can see it looks absolutely great at the moment it's just a bit dull but I believe once I go higher up in the grid the shine will come back so I sand it up to a thousand grit to the end and I'm going to wet sand now with water only on the drill using a sanding disc I'm gonna start at a thousand and then after the thousand I'm gonna to move to three thousand and then hopefully all the scratches will be out and then I can polish the wheel. After weight sanding, I think it looks great. I'm gonna polish it now and then hopefully I can match the shine from there to there. To be honest, it's not a big difference, but you can see it. You can see the line right there. So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to polish it out. I'm going to use, I don't have a very aggressive three inch polishing pad, so I'm just gonna use a finishing pad. And then I'm going to use very aggressive polish and I might step it up a bit but first I want to see if all the scratches are out otherwise I'm going to go back to the 3000 grit uh, wet sanding method to get some more scratches out but I believe we'll be fine you can clearly see the difference there but I think it looks stunning and I think it's going to come out perfect I got the wheel polished and I think it looks good. I just want to show you guys what it looks like. There is a slight difference on the spots that I had this sand hard. You can see this looks like almost like it's got lines running like this and where I had to sand it very deep the lines are out there you can see it a bit better. You can see the difference there but it's only with the overhead lights if I do this you can't tell a thing so I'm pretty sure once it's back on the car you won't be able to see a thing um, is it perfect no does it look better than I did this morning absolutely 100% it does look better actually a lot better than I did this morning so I'm quite happy with this it was very inexpensive to do I paid for the flapper wheel and some sanding paper these sanding sheets that I showed you guys Shit, there goes one I paid for them 100 Rand for the flapper wheel and some sanding discs obviously the polish and the round sanding discs that I had those are my stock so I didn't pay for them but it cost me 100 bucks to do and I'm pretty chuffed with this I'm pretty sure if you take it to a wheel shop um, they might be able to get it a bit better but you're looking at about a thousand Rand per wheel to get them done so I'm happy with this, I'm going to put it back on the car now and then I'll show you guys a couple of afters like I said, I'm pretty sure you won't be able to see once it's on the car unless you go and inspect it up close but just walking past the car you'll never be able to tell, well I hope that's the case
if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel and share the video with your friends i would really appreciate that i'll see you guys in the next one peace out and reflect your passion